Alrighty, back for another quick uh, little UE4 virtual production tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a autofocus system for the camera. It's obviously, uh, you know, unless you've turned it off or have set up sort of a focus puller, then we don't really have uh, sort of items in focus, which can make it a bit hard. Um, obviously, I said that... Uh, I like to sort of change settings like that afterwards, but you know, it is nice to preview stuff with the sort of the depth of field and stuff. Um, and so we'll be looking at adding a basic focusing system to, uh, yeah, our camera. Um, so to start with that, um, you need to think about whether you want a push a button and then it focuses. And so if you want to refocus, you've got to press the button again, or just have it continuously have whatever's in front of it in focus. Um, so if you want to do the button method, then you've obviously you've got to add an input. Um, so I've just got one here. Um, you can set it to whatever you want, really. Um, so I've just set it to the uh, the bumper on the Xbox controller. If you just want it to continuously do it all the time, then there's no need to do that. Uh, so next, what we need to do is go into our blueprint. And so what we are going to do first is uh, so we're going to be using um, what's called a line trace by channel, which sort of just traces a line, pardon me, traces a line out from our camera and then, you know, hits an object in our world and then simply returns what the distance is. And we're using that to set the, um, the focus settings. Um, so what we can do first is we can call our action, um, which I think is called focus. Where is it? Here it is. Um, so if you don't want to do the button method, then instead of using that, you just want the event tick one. So if you're already using the event tick, then um, just whack it on the back of uh, the very end of whatever's using the event tick. So you either use this one and we, when we press it or use this one, which just happens all the time. Uh, I'm going to do the uh, push the button method for this time. Um, and so obviously the main thing we're doing is a line trace by channel. Here it is. And so, like I said, this is just gonna shoot out a line um, and then just return its result. Um, now we have some options in here. We have our start and end sort of line amount that it will do. Um, and so to do those, we need to first get the world location, get world location of our camera like that. So, you know, it doesn't matter if you're doing the um, the one with the Oculus or you're using a game controller like I am for this one. It, you know, we just want to get the location of our, uh, of our camera and that is going to be the start location. Now to get the end location is a bit more tricky. What we need is a get world vector, world vector, no, get, oh, my bad, get forward vector, forward, here we go. So there's there's two. There's one in the math library and there's one in the transform. And we want the one in the transform. Um, and what this is simply going to do is tell uh, return to us what direction our um, sort of what direction our camera is looking. Uh, obviously, that's a bit important for an autofocus. Um, so next, what we want is we want a float times a. Oh no, wait a minute. We want a vector times a float. The other way around. Vector times float um, and so we're going to take that direction we're looking and we're going to multiply it by uh, the unreal units um, so this is saying how far out it should be looking for objects um, don't set this too far because this will start to take up a lot of um, processing power um, even 1500 you could probably get away with 500 in the example scene unreal comes with you could get away with like 10 um, so we're going to do that um, and so we've got a further distance out but what we next need to do is get a vector plus a vector here we go because what we want to do is this this sort of gets us um, a point in space but we also it needs to be relative to um, where we are in space and so we have to do that uh, and then end value and so now we have our start value which is where our camera is and our end value which is 500 units in front of the camera so that is then going to look for things uh, we can just leave all of this as is 
and it's going to return some results for us. So we can just drag off the out hit and we can break our hit results uh, down into sort of their individual components. And here we have distance, which is uh, obviously what we will be using. So to use that, we need the set focus settings. So you have to untick context sensitive to get that. And here it is, set focus settings. Uh, we are going to, obviously after we've done this, we want to set our focus. Um, and the target for it is obviously just going to be our camera. Uh, and then if we drag this off like that uh, and re-enable context sensitive, we get this, make focus settings. Um, and obviously really easy. We want a manual focus setting. And for the manual focus distance, we want the distance of our hit result and just like that we've done it so if we hit compile and save it and then try again so if i get oh, there we go if i get really close so it's really out of focus and then i press the trigger just like that it will find it and we'll autofocus uh, whoops it's not hitting anything there we go so if it, if it hits nothing then it's just going to go off into infinity land but yeah, so there's your basic autofocus. Um, there we go. Just like that. And obviously, if you want to, uh, if you want to um, just have it run constantly instead of press a button, then yeah, just replace this with the event tick, and then that it'll run this every frame. Ready? Awesome.